Hey, I didn't see you there. Well, how's it going? Hey, listen, today I'm going to talk to you about something real important. A lot of people come to me and they're asking me a lot of stupid questions. All right. I'm not saying you're stupid, but I do want to prepare you. All right. So if you don't want to piss me off, if you don't want to give me a bad impression, then don't do the following. Don't ask me to get involved without first getting your education. All right. First and foremost. See, you're looking at these videos, you're coming down to the events, you're looking into learning how to make money with real estate investing because you don't know how to do it. Because if you knew how to do it already, you'd be out there doing it on your own and making a ton of money. So, you know, don't try to go around it. Don't try to work any angles. I don't like that. You know, it's, it's very deceiving and I don't want to work with people like that. All right, so if you want to get it done right, do it the right way, go through the education, go through the system, just like I did, and let's get started. All right, so let me go through a couple of examples, a couple of things that people try to do. They try to weasel their way, and it's just a big slap in the face, okay? But I need to be real with you. So I just want to make sure I'm dealing with the right person. This is a weeding out process. I don't want to work with everybody. There's a lot of people out there that will just waste my time, and I don't want to have anything to do with that. Okay, my experience has been, if someone comes in here and they invest $8,000, $20,000 to work with me, they're going to stay in, they're going to stick with it, they're going to stay through it, you know, with the long term, with the long run. All right, so, let's see, here's one example. So there's a guy, um, you know, he, he came to me and he said, hey, you know what, Sam, I, I really like what you said here. I'm interested in getting involved. Let's, uh, let's you know, close on a first uh, transaction, a first property. Let's make twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000, and then I'll use the profit I make from that deal to pay for the training program. Like, all right, genius. Uh, great. Uh, yeah. So, um, why don't why don't you also try doing that with uh, I don't know law school or something? Why don't you go to uh, University of Miami and ask them to do that with a medical degree? Why don't you go to a plumbing academy and ask them to do that? Oh, they won't let you. Oh, do you know why? Oh, because they don't know if you're actually going to be serious. So what do they do? Well, you know they make you pay for the class first, and then it's up to you to go out there and get the job to pay off your loan. Look at all the kids that are graduating from college with eighty thousand dollars in debt. You think the universities and the colleges are going to be like, oh, okay, well, you know, I, I guess we'll just let you have your education for free, and then when you go out there, I guess you just pay us back or something. No, they pay up front, they get their training, and then they go and they do their job in the profession. You can't go and do surgery and then get paid for the surgery and then get the money from that procedure to pay for your med school. It doesn't work that way, all right? That's backwards, that's stupid, that's retarded. You don't want a pilot to go fly a plane and then go to flight school. It's the same thing, it's a procedure, all right? So if you're gonna try and get around it, I don't wanna work with you, I don't even wanna talk to you, I don't even wanna look in your direction, all right? So there's no way that I'm gonna work with anybody who doesn't get their education first, okay? Not, unless you're a millionaire and you're gonna give me money to do deals, there's no way around it. It's not happening, I don't care. Don't ask, don't even think about it, don't even look in my direction, all right? But if you do understand the value of education and doing it the right way and going through our systems, our tools and our support, going through the method that it takes, then yeah, let's get started. I'll be with you every step of the way. I'm local, I live down here in South Florida, we'll do deals together and we'll make it happen. All right, let's see, maybe I can think of another example. Hmm. Another shiny example is where somebody comes to me and they're like, hey Sam, why don't I just go ahead and go out there and find you deals and then bring those deals to you? I'm like, yeah, all right, sure. Yeah, waste my time. Go out there and, you know, screw around because this is what happens. They go, oh, you know, here's a property that's for sale that this one guy told me, you know, you can make all this money on. Can you go ahead and look at the address and do your comps and run your numbers and let me know if it's a good deal so that I can make my little referral fee or commission or whatever? I don't have time for that. All right, the way that my students work is that when they find a deal, they plug in all the numbers, the, the value to buy the property, the, F, the ARV cost, they plug in the rehab, they plug in the closing, they plug in the, the enter cost and the exit cost and the potential profit. They give me comps to support that. They give me a contractor's estimate to support that. If you're not willing to do all that stuff and then make your little $200 uh, referral fee, no, not happening. You need to get educated, do it the right way, and then make money. Because if you did know how to find good deals, you'll be going out there finding good deals, you'll be making a ton of money doing wholesaling. But because you don't have a clue, you're not. End of story, all right? That's why you're broke, because you're trying to find angles 
Because you're trying to screw people over. You're trying to find an angle. You do not respect all the time, the work, the effort that my community and I have put together in creating a system to create real estate investors. You do not see the value in what we've done. And you do not respect the work that we do. And that is why you are trying to get around the system. You're trying to get around the education. You're trying to get around what we put together to help you become successful. So if you don't have enough respect for yourself, and you don't have respect for us to make the commitment and invest in your education, then please, don't reach out. Because I don't want to hear it. All right, so I just wanted to have that real talk with you guys. Just want to make sure we're on the same page. Hopefully, you are the type of person that sees value. You understand the power of education. You understand the, the value, the power of investing in yourself. You know, rich people, they're, they're always investing in themselves. They're always going to seminars. They're always looking at different ways of making money. They're always looking at uh, books, tapes, uh, coaching, mentorship. Rich people get it. Rich people are willing to pay to learn. Poor people, broke people, people that will be poor, that will live miserable for the rest of their lives, they don't educate themselves, they don't invest in their education, they don't get it, they don't see it. They do it the wrong way, they get into hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt with a degree that's not going to do anything. Just because some other broke people said that you should go to college and get a degree in whatever doesn't mean that you should. So do it the right way, get educated the right way, work with investors, work with people that are making money. Let's get started. Look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Thank you.